Weakening God Piercing Books Plus Mind Reading Technique Plus Cannon Ash Counterattack Smash Plus Group Pet Plus Aerial Brain Hole, Tang Tian Tian, the unlucky guy who saved lives and helped the injured, has died. Fortunately, she changed her identity and was reborn within a day. Unfortunately, at the beginning of the game, I faced a disciple who closed the door with a pitiful and inhumane appearance, and my life was worrying. After being tormented, Tang Tian Tian, who was not very clever, realized that she had been deceived into reading. The kind where the whole family is wrongly planted with cannon fodder and the outcome is unbearable. A brainless father who loves a warrior and happily takes care of someone else's son. Wang Guan's family fortune is cheated and handed over, but he ends up with no bones left. The little ant who licked her dog and became a demon was personally sent to a romantic and romantic place by her destined lover to laugh and endure humiliation for a living. However, she failed to seek revenge and was thrown into a disorderly grave, unable to close her eyes, the kind dot hearted and loving grandmother was made into a human being by the most beloved younger generation. She wanted to die but could not die the mother who was deliberately swapped for her life, lived a brief life in deception and exploitation, tormented to the end Tang Tian Tian, who has always been unlucky, recalled the general plot and cursed Yan Wang for being unreliable. Tang Tian Tian, who was cursing and trying to save herself, realized something was wrong. The Cannon Fodder family seemed to have a collective brain, and the means of counterattack were getting stronger and stronger, while she seemed to have taken the wrong script. The good thing that will prosper with extreme decline has fallen on Tang Tian Tian, the unlucky one, who has slowly been transported. Due to the side effects of the medicine, many funny things have happened frequently. Under the battle of wits and courage with her beloved and blind family, she successfully experienced the warmth of family affection. After ten generations of suffering, Tang Tian Tian was satisfied with the sweetness of another life. Chapter 1 The First Unfortunate Egg You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. De Co Lois A R A Trong Quatrin Lay Text. Chapter 2 Evening Mother Isn't she the stepmother? You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Pain, 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 pain. Oh my goodness. Isn't this falling into the hands of crazy people? It's over, let's rest. Tang Tian Tian, who had been tormented, was completely disheartened and secretly cursed the king of hell for not being kind and deceiving unlucky people without conscience. Damn it, the golden finger can't even touch a shadow. Relying on its protection, unlucky people find their lives too long. After about a quarter of an hour, Tang Tian Tian, who was about to faint from the pain, finally escaped the clutches. The woman who is the culprit is a lazy person. She doesn't even wear any cotton pants and allows the little Tang Tian Tian to shamelessly expose her lower body. Devoid of humanity, inhumane and inhumane. With two small buttocks and two feet, I got 90.9 and 80.1 stitches all over my feet. Does this perverted snake spirit want to go to the West to obtain scriptures? What kind of bloody and tragic life is it to be so cruel to a small baby? Sure enough, there was no such thing as smooth sailing in Tang Tiantian's life. Tang Tian Tian roast when she was in pain. She tried to save herself. However, the person had short hands and an unknown object tied to her arm. The cloth root stuffed into her small mouth couldn't reach her, and she didn't dare to twist it randomly, afraid of accidentally rolling and causing trouble again, in exchange for even more severe punishment. I don't know how long it has been, but just as Tang Tian Tian thought she would suffer or freeze to death with such a shameful expression, a rapid sound of footsteps came from outside the tightly closed door. Madam, the master has returned and is currently walking towards our courtyard. The maid's voice was filled with anxiety. Got it, find a way to stop it. Madam, please tidy up a bit. Shen Wan Wan, who was resting in the inner room, had an extremely gentle voice, making it difficult to associate her with the ruthless woman she had just had. With a sweep of her eyes, she didn't even need to say a word more. 
Another person in the room quickly tidied up the messy bed and replaced it with new sheets and bedding. Master. Who is this person? Tang Tian Tian dare not assume that she is her own biological father this time. In a moment, Shen Wan Wan lifted the door curtain and walked out of the inner room, glancing at Tang Tian Tian, who was now naked. She quickly walked over and rudely put on her cotton pants. Master, madam is dressing up in the room. The maid's bright voice rang out again. Shen Wan Wan grabbed the thick little quilt next to the soft bed, didn't even look at it, and casually threw it onto Tang Tian Tian. As for the soft cloth she had stuffed into her small mouth, she forgot to take it off. With a creak. The door was pushed open from outside, and the dusty Tang Ching Hong's eyebrows and eyes were smiling. A pair of bright and lively eyes reflected the exquisitely made up Shen Wan Wan, and a stunning expression appeared in his eyes. Wan Yang, I miss you so much. Upon hearing this, a gentle and passionate smile appeared on Shen Wan Wan's face. Hong Lang, you are used to coaxing me with kind words. After being away from home for so long, Wan Yang has finally brought you back. Shen Wan Wan's tone is three times coquettish and seven times angry. Tang Chenghong, who had been away from home for several months, was very fond of her tricks. When he heard the voice of day and night thinking, he was exhausted from running around and swept away. Wan Yang, it's been hard work. Thanks to your management and organization in the mansion over the years, I have been able to conduct business outside with peace of mind. Damn it, since you know my hard work, you can't just talk about it. Shen Wan Wan smiled shyly. This is natural, and I will definitely compensate my wife well. Tang Cheng Hong naturally held Shen Wan Wan's hand, and the couple sat at the round table, looking at each other with deep affection, sharing their feelings of longing. The maid Shouzhu, who was serving on the side, blushed as she walked over and poured two cups of hot tea for the two of them. She silently retreated and left space for them. And Tang Tian Tian, lying flat on the soft couch, was completely ignored. At this moment, she is struggling with the heavy little quilt pressing on her body. Is this unscrupulous snake spirit trying to suffocate me? I can't do it anymore, I'm almost out of breath. The small quilt that Shen Wan Wan casually threw covered Tang Tian Tian's entire head. However, she really didn't mean it it can only indicate that Tang Tian Tian was too unlucky, with a soft cloth in her small mouth and breathing really difficult. Hong Lang, the New Year gift in the nearby Nian Guan mansion has not been prepared for a long time. It's not a big deal that my parents' Shen mansion is close, but my uncle's house and Huaiqing's hometown are far away. If we encounter heavy snow blocking the road and delaying our journey, we may not be able to get it before the New Year. The more Shen Wan Wan spoke, the lower her voice became. A few days ago, my handkerchief sent me several posts inviting me out. I was thinking of making some trendy jewelry to give to my mother and sister. In law, and creating a new beginning for the new year, but. Shen Wan Wan gritted her lips in grievance and stopped talking. Tang Chenghong patted Shen Wan Wan's hand and understood what she meant by her unfinished words. Wan Yang's intentions are well known to her husband. Whatever you want to do, just let go. As for Nyang's side, is her elderly family really in trouble with you? Hong Lang, you don't understand the women's thoughts at all. Since Wan Yang is the daughter dot in dot law of the Tang family, she hopes that every decision she makes will be approved by her mother dot in dot law. She doesn't want her sister. In. Law to think that the girls raised by my Shen family are arrogant and arbitrary. It turned out that Tang Qinghong's mother, Meng Yuanru, and Shen Wan Wan's mother, Meng Yuanying, were sisters, while Tang Qinghong and Shen Wan Wan grew up together from childhood. Apart from reading and learning how to read and do business, Tang Qinghong only had contact with a woman with a different surname in his free time. Only Shen Wan Wan, a gentle and talented cousin, had a deep affection for her early on, believing that she was the most beautiful woman in the world, and all he could see was her. At the age of marriage, both parents intentionally matched up, and the two naturally became close. 
Tang Qinghong's mother has two sons and one youngest daughter under her lap, and she always loves her daughter. In. Law Shen Wan Wan the most. However, as the oldest elder in the Tang dynasty, Meng Yuanru has never liked extravagance, so she didn't get along well with Shen Wan Wan in this regard. However, she never stopped Shen Wan Wan's liking. On the contrary, sometimes they will also take out their own private money to let this daughter dot in dot law buy their favorite jewelry headpieces. But due to Tang Chenghong being away all year round and not being aware of the hidden situation, Shen Wan Wan never mentioned it. Hong Lang, they are busy with the trivial matters in the mansion and haven't gone out to hang out for a long time. Now that you are back, can Wan Yang be lazy? Shen Wan Wan swayed his arm, with an extremely natural coquettishness in every gesture and gesture. Yu, Tang Chenghong reached out his hand and pointed at her tiny nose. Tomorrow I will give you some silver notes in private, invite your little sisters to have a good look, and then pick some ready-to-wear clothes for my mother. In. Law. Well, then I'll listen to Hong Lang's advice. Shen Wan Wan knew that the man in front of her had always been generous in his actions and had achieved his goal of asking for money. With a joyful heart, she picked up the hot tea in front of her, blew it gently, and handed it to Tang Chinghong's lips. Hong Lang, take a sip of hot tea to warm your body. Okay. Tang Chinghong took a sip, while Shen Wan Wan blew a sip. The couple is greasy and crooked, as if no one else is showing affection. Wan Yang, isn't she the stepmother? No wonder he was so harsh on a child. Thanks to her unremitting efforts, Tang Tian Tian, who had successfully exposed half of her head, finally breathed in fresh air. Who will save me in Chapter 3? You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. De Ko Lois A R A Trong Kwa Trin Lei Text. Chapter 4 Tang Ching Hong Strange Brain Circuit. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Shen Wan Wan was glanced at by him feeling a bit guilty and coquettishly lowered her head. Tang Chenghong chuckled and his gaze fell back on Tang Tian Tian. Sweetheart, Daddy believes that one day, you will be able to shout, Daddy, like other children. Daddy has enough patience to accompany you and wait for you to speak. Tang Chenghong's eyes were filled with heartache, and his voice had a hint of choking. He reached out and gently pinched Tang Tian Tian's cheek, which had not much flesh. He has been married to Shen Wan Wan for ten years, and has a pair of twins under his knee, currently nine years old. The two children were intelligent and clever since childhood, studying at Chaos Han Academy in the outskirts of Beijing. They take four days off each month and can only return to their homes to reunite with their families at the end of the month. And Tang Tian Tian, the youngest daughter in her arms, just turned two five days ago. Since birth, apart from crying, she has been unable to speak or walk, with a dull and foolish gaze. After starting to grow teeth, she often bit her tongue, causing her mouth to be covered in blood, which was extremely frightening. As a mother, Shen Wan Wan couldn't help but secretly shed tears and had to use a soft cloth to ease her pain in her small mouth. Oh my god, you're deliberately playing with me, right? With such a stupid dad, are you sure you can see the future? Tang Tian Tian was quite speechless. Her small cheeks were sore, and she glanced at Shen Wan Wan, who was watching closely beside her. She was anxious and couldn't think of a good idea to remind Tang Chinghong, a pure love warrior. Upon hearing the words, stupid father, again, Tang Chinghong was deeply saddened. Sweetheart, dad, I have traveled south and north to learn a lot. I started reading and reading at the age of three. My sweetness is sure to follow my dad's intelligence and be even more powerful than your older brothers and sisters. I will definitely become a talented woman who will make a name for the capital in the future. A talented woman. Does this little bastard also deserve it? Tang Chinghong shamelessly uttered such fanciful words, but he was not afraid to dodge his tongue. Shen Wan Wan's face changed again and again and her eyes were filled with resentment. A lowly little thing, she is also worthy of being compared to the children of Shen Wan Wan. 
It's one thing whether one can grow up safely with a short dot lived and declining appearance on their face. Tang Chenghong thought that his words could change the little girl's erroneous perception of him, but he was once again despised by Tang Tian Tian. Where is your intelligence if my intelligence were to follow you, my whole family would just disappear, and we would all be on the road together, playing it out completely Tang Chenghong. Dot. Little kid, I'm not as bad as you think, right? Staring wide-eyed, the Tang family's business is spread throughout the country, with involvement in various industries. Isn't this the best proof? Hong Lang, it's getting late at the moment. Tian Tian should go to bed now. Children in winter are the ones who sleep the most. Shen Wan Wan wiped away her tears with a handkerchief and pretended to reach out to take the child from Tang Chenghong's hand. She did not want Tang Chenghong to favor Tang Tian Tian, a little slut. Dad, you must not hand me over to her, otherwise you may not even hear me until you die. Your only daughter is calling out, Dad. Dot. Tang Tian Tian tightly grabbed Tang Chenghong's collar with her two small hands, even her painful little feet were exerting force. She was afraid of being tortured to death, and she was even more afraid of dying for no apparent reason, ending this extremely short life. In the book, it is roughly mentioned that Tang Tian Tian, the little cannon fodder, was the first pitiful person to fall off. She died on the sixth day of the Lunar New Year, a snowy night without a full moon. Kneeling all night, covered in thick snow, my body froze stiff when I was discovered, and a living child was frozen to death. When he died, he was only two years and a little over a month old. Because he was under ten years old and could not be buried in his ancestral tomb, Shen Wan Wan, who was heartbroken and bedridden, sent people to find a place to bury him everywhere. Tang Chenghong instinctively turned his body and avoided Shen Wan Wan's hand. Who is the sweet word, chief referring to? Is there a cunning slave around Wan Wan? Did you bully Tian Tian by deceiving others? Hong Lang, you can't bear to part with Tian Tian, this child. I, as a mother, would be jealous. Shen Wan Wan chuckled lightly, and from an angle that Tang Chenghong couldn't see, a hint of disgust flashed quickly in her eyes. My Wan Yang is already the mother of three children. How could she compete with our little girl for favor? This child has just woken up for a while, and I'm watching her spirit. Tang Chenghong had always felt that he owed Tang Tian Tian a debt, and it was rare for her to be clear-headed when she returned this time. Even if it's not for the sake of hearing her innermost thoughts, as a father, I also want to hug her more. Dad, don't be fooled by Shen Wan Wan's sweet words. Zhang Wuji's mother said that some beautiful women's words cannot be trusted, and those who trust them will end up with a family that will lose their lives. You are a businessman, we cannot do this uneconomical business, Sai, Shen Wan Wan is a wolf grandmother dressed in sheepskin. She is fundamentally bad. She is still the eldest disciple of Rome Mama's closed door and has many ways to harm others. Tang Chenghong, who was focused, became increasingly confused as he listened. Who is Zhang Wuji? Who is his mother? Did he and his mother have enough free time to eat and support themselves? When did these two people run into the mansion and talk nonsense to Tian Tian? Also, what exactly does Grandma Rome do as a closed-door disciple? Shen Wan Wan's wet nurse doesn't have the surname Rome, does she? Tang Chenghong, who had a unique brain circuit, never stood guard in front of Shen Wan Wan, who grew up with him and was one year older than him. Almost no matter what Shen Wan Wan said, he would believe her without reason. Therefore, for Tang Tiantian's strange thoughts, he, who couldn't understand them, automatically regarded them as a child's wild imagination. Looking at Tang Chenghong with bewildered eyes, Tang Tian Tian decisively raised her small hand and effortlessly exhaled on his chin. A person's hands are weak, and this slap is no different from scratching. Tang Chenghong lowered his head again to accommodate Tang Tiantian's convenience. Tang Tian Tian. Dot. Pure love warrior. Tang Chenghong, please wake up quickly. Pursuing pure love is not wrong, but she is not worthy of Shen Wan Wan. 
Your deep affection should not be trampled upon by her, your poor daughter, Tang Tian Tian, has her small buttocks and feet tied into a hornet's nest by Shen Wan Wan. Sometimes, with bad luck, I have to get a few stitches on my tongue. The old wound is not healed, but new wounds are added. In such a situation, it's strange to be able to shout, Dad, and walk on the ground, not long ago, she even stabbed me eighty-one times with a silver needle, but it hurts so much. Quickly take me away to see a doctor, this wound is still warm, I'm in pain. Tang Tian Tian felt more and more sad as she thought, and the aggrieved golden bean rushed out, still the kind that didn't make a sound. She didn't know what was going on. Despite being an adult with ten lifetimes of memories, when she was gently held in Tang Qinghong's arms, she couldn't help but feel aggrieved. Indeed, in Honglang's heart, the bloodline of the Tang family is the most important, and I, a person with a different surname, cannot compare. Shen Wan Wan deliberately had a strange yin yang airway, and Yu Guang was too lazy to go and see Tang Tian Tian, who was crying with tears streaming down her face. Chapter 5 Stupid Dad Getting Faced You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Isn't this child being stimulated by something? How could someone in good condition cry so sadly? The little doll's thoughts are hard to guess, with strange and bizarre ideas one after another. Didn't you sleep well? Hysteria. How could a beautiful woman like Wan Yang do such a wicked thing? Tang Qinghong, who was disturbed by Tang Qintian's heartfelt voice, wiped his tears while thinking in his heart. Therefore, he did not speak out to comfort Shen Wan Wan as usual and promised a silver bill to soothe her. Hong Lang, your behavior today is a bit abnormal. After entering the door, you held on to your child and didn't let go. Isn't there someone outside carrying my back? Shen Wan Wan's voice carried a hint of grievance, and her delicate face was filled with accusations. In her heart, she was extremely disgusted with Tang Qinghong, who came from a business background. Wan Yang, what nonsense are you talking in front of your child? After the new year, I won't go out for a long time as my husband. I'll stay at the mansion and accompany you wholeheartedly, making you deeply feel my love for my husband. What are you saying, you're not going out? Seeing that Shen Wan Wan's reaction was somewhat extreme, Tang Chenghong began to tease him. Wan Yang, don't you want me to stay in the mansion with you? Shen Wan Wan realized her mistake and quickly spoke up to remedy it. Hong Lang, how could you think of me like this? I have dreamed of such things many times, but thinking of a big business waiting for you to handle outside, Wan Yang cannot be so selfish as to keep you tied to her side. Shen Wan Wan's explanation successfully pleased Tang Qinghong. He hugged Tang Tian Tian with one hand and caressed Shen Wan Wan's hand with the other. Wan Yang, your beautiful dream has come true. Don't worry about your business outside. After years of hard work, you have entered the right track. Every season, there will be a steward reporting on the situation. The old people in the shop are used to it, and the contracts for selling are all in your hands. You can put your heart back in your stomach and enjoy yourself well. So it's like this, that's really good news. The smile that appeared in Shen Wan Wan's eyes did not reach the bottom of her eyes, and she forced herself to perfunctory Tang Qinghong. Indeed, beautiful women are the best at coaxing people. Even though they don't want their stupid dad to stay at home, they just talk sarcastically. Tang Chenghong, who couldn't shake off his foolish father's hat, disagreed with Tang Tintian's words. The child is still young, and although they have abilities that ordinary people do not have, their ability to distinguish right from wrong is insufficient. He grew up with his cousin from a young age, and their relationship was deeper than that of Jin Jian. Every time she went out, she would personally pack her bags, cook many convenient snacks, and worry that he wouldn't be able to eat or sleep well outside. Watching Tang Chenghong show a foolish and foolish demeanor, Tang Tian Tian clenched her small fist and thrust hard at his chin. Hiss. Tang Chenghong, who was immersed in the past, was caught off guard when his teeth bit the tip of his tongue. He did not blame Tang Tian Tian. 
you naughty little rascal. Stupid dad, Shen Wan Wan has never loved you from beginning to end. She married you for the money of the Tang family, so don't give her money to try. Also, she really doesn't want you to stay at home because you would hinder her from stealing. Shen Wan Wan's gentleness is all about pretending. She is a woman who pretends to be different from her appearance. Please wash your eyes and see her true face clearly Tang Qinghong. I don't believe it, I don't listen. The more the little doll talks, the more outrageous it becomes. Where did the little brain come from with so many messy things? Shen Wan Wan is the gentlest and most beautiful woman in this world. She teaches her husband and children, and manages her family with integrity. Looking at the entire capital, no one envies my Tang Qinghong family for having a beautiful and virtuous wife. Wan Yang, I'm a bit tired. I won't accompany you for dinner later and will go to bed first. Tang Qinghong's eyes were burning as he looked at Shen Wan Wan, who was absent. Minded. He continued, Let the maid come in and take Tian Tian down. The unlucky Tang Tian Tian trembled with fear, and his two short hands struggled to embrace Tang Qinghong's arm. His intention was obvious and he didn't want to be held by anyone else besides him. Dad is a bit foolish, at least he has some conscience. Hong Lang, I'm afraid I won't be able to let you rest here today. It's inconvenient for me to attend to monthly affairs, and you know, every time I encounter a small day, I always toss and turn when I sleep, and if I don't want to disturb you, you can't sleep well either. The intention revealed in Tang Qinghong's words was very obvious, and how could Shen Wan Wan not understand it? She had just experienced an inseparable battle with others and didn't have the energy to deal with Tang Qinghong, nor did she bother to arrange it. Oh, I was rejected, right. Tang's sweet and tender little milk voice deserves some beating. Of course she dare not keep you, because Shen Wan Wan just did something behind your back, probably covered in evidence left by other men. Tang Qinghong's face, which had been slapped, was extremely unnatural. Is this something that a little baby should know? The leaky little cotton jacket is used to poking knives at my father's body. He did not write to the mansion in advance when he returned this time, just to surprise Shen Wan Wan. After hearing Tang Tiantian's heartfelt feelings, he was rashly rejected and couldn't help but recall past events. Since the two got married, Shen Wan Wan has informed her of inaccurate monthly payments and unbearable abdominal pain. Whenever encountering such a tormented little day, Tang Qinghong's desire for intimate care at home is refused. For the past ten years, as the head of the Tang family, Tang Qinghong's days at home were few and far between. Now, upon closer examination, it is common to coincidentally encounter Shen Wan Wan's childhood. A deep-hearted man should not be let down. Dad, don't hang yourself from a crooked neck tree that doesn't belong to you. Get out in time to avoid deeper harm in the future Tang Tian Tian sympathized with his foolish father Tang Qinghong's plight. During his youth, he admired the woman he admired and never had his own position in his heart. Instead, he strongly despised the lowly status of that businessman. Shen Wan Wan spent the money of the Tang mansion with peace of mind, while secretly poking and disliking the lowly identities of the people in the Tang mansion. Undoubtedly, they are brainless pure love warriors who have been clearly rejected and still rely on not leaving. Tang Qinghong Loud little girl, which I did you see me clinging on and not leaving. Hong Lang, our husband and wife will have a long way to go in the future. When I feel refreshed in a few days, I will personally cook a few small dishes that you love. Let's sit down and have a good chat. Watching Shen Wan Wan's weak and boneless hands about to touch his thighs, Tang Chenghong suddenly stood up. Perhaps the best way to quickly verify the truth of Sweetheart's words right now is to simply drag Shen Wan Wan into the room, strip her clothes off, and check for any traces of love on her body. But what if not? To take a step back, what should we do if there are really traces left by men on our bodies? On my way here, I didn't see my man enter the backyard. The servant in the front courtyard of the mansion, who was not summoned, was not allowed to come to the courtyard where the owner lived. No, Shen Wan Wan is proud and proud. 
she will never willingly lower herself and do things that steal people to smear the reputation of the Shen and Tang mansions. Tang Qinghong's mind was a tangled ball of tangled threads that he couldn't unravel. He didn't dare to think further and only wanted to escape the room that haunted him as soon as possible. In fact, he was deceiving himself and knew in his heart that Shen Wan Wan was lying today. Chapter 6 Yi Dai Meets Misfortune You are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio. Hong Lang, will you understand me? Shen Wan Wan's seductive eyes were like silk, and she called out in a coquettish voice. You're right. Since you're feeling unwell, it's better to rest. Sweet, this child is good at not crying. Let her follow me back tonight. Wan Yang, please call up the maid who is usually responsible for taking care of sweetness and follow along. Tang Chenghong held Tang Tian Tian in his arms and refused to let go, with a faint displeasure between his eyebrows. He couldn't bear to expose Shen Wan Wan's lies and laughably wanted to maintain their relationship. Shen Wan Wan, who was also in a bad mood, was too lazy to continue dealing with Tang Chenghong and pretended to reluctantly nod in agreement. According to Hong Lang, Yi Mama is my wet nurse who works steadily and thoughtfully. She is usually sweet, timid, and afraid of danger. She takes turns replacing and taking care of me. Shen Wan Wan's wet nurse Yi Dai is her confidant. She is 46 years old this year and was sent to take care of Tang Tian Tian while also monitoring Tang Chenghong. She also cut off any incidents of maids crawling onto the bed. Okay, then I'll go back and rest first, and come see you tomorrow. Hurry up, hurry up. Tang Tian Tian felt very urgent in her heart. Tang Chenghong shook his head helplessly, holding Tang Tian Tian and turning back three times. Shen Wan Wan put on a thick cloak, covered her lower abdomen with one hand, and persevered to personally escort her father and daughter out of the yard. The reluctance on her face disappeared, replaced by anger. Madam, I have taken the diaper, milk jug, and medicine powder. Well, when applying medicine to that girl, there's no need to show mercy on her hands. She still puts a soft cloth in her mouth, making her fuss silently. Shen Wan Wan gave a low and malicious command. Madam, rest assured that I have always been cautious and prudent in my actions, and I will not let the master detect any clues. Yi Dai's tone was resolute, her black and thin old face covered in wrinkles, and her eyes were extremely sinister. Originally, the way to vent her anger with a silver needle was what she told Shen Wan Wan. Shen Wan Wan's malicious and distorted true face in private is partly due to the instigation of this intimate nanny, who often comes up with bad ideas behind her back. At first, Shen Wan Wan reluctantly obeyed the arrangement and returned to the mansion after dealing with Tang Tian Tian, a villain. She felt unhappy and directly pinched Tang Tian Tian to vent her dissatisfaction. The baby's skin was delicate, and the blue and purple marks were clearly difficult to eliminate. The old lady in the mansion occasionally sends people to pick up Tang Tian Tian. Over time, it is inevitable that any clues will not be discovered. But using silver needles is different. Except for the residual marks on the thumb and soles of the foot, the fleshy areas like the buttocks are almost invisible, but they can be very painful. Once, the marks on Tang Tian Tian's thumb were discovered by the old lady, and Shen Wan Wan easily fooled her with the excuse of a rash. After completing the entire set of acting, Shen Wan Wan was crying on the spot almost to the point of losing her breath. The old lady comforted her well and then sent her confidant many silver bills to comfort her. The old lady was unaware of her trust and indulgence, which made Shen Wan Wan's servants act more recklessly in private. At this moment, Yi Dai, who was arrogant, could never have imagined that after spending a night with a little unlucky person, her life would turn upside down. Tang Chenghong held Tang Tian Tian with a heavy heart and headed straight to the yard where he had lived alone before his marriage. The two-year-old baby's tense nerves gradually relaxed and he fell asleep before reaching the place. Tang Tian Tian slept restlessly, her little eyebrows furrowing from time to time. Tang Chenghong stayed by her side, 
tirelessly smoothing her furrowed brows over and over again, humming nursery rhymes softly to lull her to sleep. Midway through, Tang Tian Tian personally fed the sheep's milk again, and when she saw Tang Qinghong still by her side, she finally fell asleep with peace of mind. At the beginning of the high era, under the constant urging of Yi Dai, Tang Qinghong yawned and returned to the main room to rest. As for the matter of drugging Tang Tian Tian, due to Tang Qinghong's prolonged delay, the exhausted Yi Dai forgot about it. Just after midnight, Yi Dai, who was sleeping with Tang Tian Tian, rolled over and fell into a deep sleep. The next day, when the first ray of sunlight shone into the room, Tang Tian Tian, who had been choked up by urine, opened her eyes and saw an enlarged wrinkled old face. She blinked in confusion. Who is this ugly thing? However, as she reached out her little hand, the unpleasant memories she had experienced yesterday instantly came back to her. The woman lying beside her, covered in pleats, was arranged by Shen Wan Wan as her confidant. No, where's my big stupid dad? Unable to see Tang Chenghong, Tang Tian Tian was extremely uneasy. Her small flat bun face was wrinkled into a ball, and her little brain spun rapidly. When the old woman wakes up, she will definitely take her away. She cannot return to Shen Wan Wan's side. In the book, Tang Tian Tian, who was two years old, seemed to have severe autism under the woman's beating and scolding, and there was only one way to go back. Tang Tian Tian, who has experienced ten unfortunate lives, probably had her main soul due to the decline of her spirit. She was not discouraged, but rather optimistic and positive, with a strong mentality. Even though she understood it was through reading, she had a flexible mind at this moment, and all the people she saw were flesh and blood. She decided to save herself and work hard to survive. Tang Chenghong, who lived in the same courtyard, hardly slept in the latter half of the night. As soon as it was slightly dawn, he got up to tidy up and punch in the courtyard. When the mournful and loud cries of children came from the tightly closed room, Tang Chenghong, who was boxing in the courtyard, stopped his moves and ran as fast as possible to the east wing where Tang Tian Tian was sleeping. With a bang, the door was kicked open from outside. Upon hearing the sound, Yi Dai turned her head, her old face full of ferocity. She couldn't control herself in time. When she saw Tang Chenghong getting closer and closer, her dizzy head suddenly became clear from the pain. Master, Tang Chenghong did not look at her. He rudely threw people off the bed, carefully pulled the blanket from the shelf, wrapped Tang Tiantian's thin clothes into a big zongzi, and held it in his arms. Oh my mom, you've seen my stupid dad. It hurts me so much the old thing knocked out one of my baby teeth, woo 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 woo. Tang Tian Tian, who was crying like a slaughtered pig on the surface, had a high swelling on her left side of her small face, with adult slap marks on it. Blood was oozing around the corner of her mouth. Dare to be stubborn, dare you harm my son. Tang Chenghong rubbed Tang Tiantian's little head with heartache and kicked Yi Dai's old face fiercely with his foot up. Puff. Tang Chenghong exerted all his strength with this kick, and Yi Dai immediately spat out a mouthful of old blood. Six front teeth in the front row fell out, making it so painful that he couldn't even say a word of defense. Someone. Bring this bold troublemaker into the yard and beat him hard. Quickly, two servants rushed in from outside, like dragging a dead dog, carrying Yi Dai's legs and rubbing them on the ground as they walked outward. As she passed the threshold, she suffered a second injury to a certain part of her body, causing her to almost collapse in pain. Yi Dai's piercing cries became increasingly unpleasant, and the sensible servant couldn't find anything to take advantage of. He decisively took off his shoes and blocked Yi Dai's mouth with three days of dirty socks that hadn't been changed. He quickly tied the person to a stool. With the sound of the crackling board, Yi Dai felt a bit dizzy with pain, and a pair of resentful old eyes stared at the culprit Tang Tian Tian. Chapter 7 The Savior of Yi Dai Comes You are listening at NovelFull.audio De Ko Loi Zara Trong Quatrin Lay Text. Chapter 8 
Stupid Dad Stubborn. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. In Shen Wan Wan's impression, the younger cousin in front of her, who was one year younger, had always been a gentle and gentle person, with a soft and easy that going heart, always obedient to her words. Could it be because he rejected him yesterday that the man felt ashamed, so he cautiously retaliated against himself? Shen Wan Wan felt that she had revealed the truth and secretly cursed Tang Qinghong for being too narrow. Minded. This was not the first time she had been rejected. Is it necessary to stir up trouble like this? Hong Lang, what happened yesterday? Tang Chenghong unconsciously avoided Shen Wan Wan's approach and lifted Tang Tian Tian in his arms with his hand. Tang Tian Tian, who instantly understood his intention, immediately revealed her small head from the blanket and extended her injured left cheek towards the position where Shen Wan Wan was. Shen Wan Wan only then noticed that the lump in Tang Chenghong's arms was Tang Tian Tian. Seeing the slap marks on the little doll's face blend together, she didn't want to blurt it out and debut. Hong Lang, it turns out that you punished Yi Mama with such a big fire because Tian Tian slept dishonestly and hurt her face. Tang Chenghong closed his eyes helplessly, then slowly opened them and stared seriously at Shen Wan Wan. Wan Yang, Tian Tian is the young lady of our Tang mansion. She can't tolerate being harassed, beaten, insulted, or humiliated. Did Mom Yi take a taxi? Is she crazy? At this moment, Shen Wan Wan also understood and secretly cursed Yi Dai as a fool. Hong Lang, there must be some misunderstanding among them. Yi Mama is getting old and told me a few days ago that she often dreams after winter. She must have accidentally injured Tian Tian, and she must have regretted it very much. Seeing that Shen Wan Wan was still thinking of defending Jiao Nu, he didn't care at all about Tang Tiantian's injury. How much it hurt for her, Tang Chenghong understood that talking to such people was pointless. After struggling in his heart, he made a decision. Approaching the end of the year, you are also quite busy. You have been bullied by the stubborn slaves around you for so long, but you have no idea. As a mother, you are too derelict. Shout out, stupid dad is stuttering. Tang Tian Tian raised her head and looked at Tang Qinghong's chin with a bit of admiration. Shen Wan Wan, who was criticized in front of servants, immediately became unwilling. Hong Lang, how could you say such heavy words to me? Sweet and sweet, but I experienced the pain of childbirth when I was pregnant in October. I personally took care of the child I gave birth to, how could you accuse me of neglecting my duties as a mother because of this incident? Shen Wan Wan showed a very injured expression, but her heart was filled with hatred for Tang Qinghong's ruthlessness. A lowly and stinky businessman, really treating himself like a grandfather. Wan Yang, do you really think you haven't neglected your duties? Tang Qinghong's deep gaze, like a winter ice blade, struck directly at Shen Wan Wan's heart. This man probably discovered the pinholes on Tang Tiantian's body. No, Mom Yi must have applied medicine last night. The effect of that medicine is excellent. A needle-sized wound heals quickly without leaving any scars. It was my negligence that caused Sweet to suffer. In the future, I will be even more cautious and make up for this child well. Shen Wan Wan reluctantly succumbed. Don't bother. I asked my mother for a few reliable people who will take care of Tian Tian's daily life. Go and get busy. It must be that Yi is not the only one in your hospital who snubs Tian Tian so much. As a mother, she really wants to make up for her children. It's better to spend more time on it. Hong Lang, why are you so cruel as to separate us mother and daughter? Shen Wan Wan never expected that Tang Chenghong would be stripped of her right to take care of children overnight, from returning to the mansion yesterday afternoon to this morning. Wan Yang was angry and confused by Ye's behavior. Tian Tian is in the mansion, and as a mother, you can see her any time you want. As the child grows older, she will eventually live separately from her mother. You are and Yao are also came this way. By the way, regarding the investigation of Jiao Nu bullying the master, if your clone lacks skills and time, 
I can arrange for someone to help Tang Chinghong was pressing step by step, with a dominant attitude that Shen Wan Wan had never seen before. Her previous methods of coquettishness, gentleness, and small-mindedness seemed completely incapable of being used to hold on to this man. Hong Lang, I won't bother you with such small matters. You just came back from outside, take a good rest. As for Tian Tian, I'll listen to your arrangements. It's a good opportunity for you father and daughter to cultivate a good relationship. Shen Wan Wan's nails almost pierced the palm of her hand, forcefully suppressing the chaotic thoughts in her heart and hurriedly leaving with the maid behind her. Tang Tian Tian was watching the play when she suddenly felt an uncontrollable surge of water rushing out of her lower body. Her buttocks and legs were surrounded by layers of dampness and heat, and her small face immediately turned red. Ah ah ah. It's really embarrassing, I actually wet my pants, Tang Tian Tian. Tang Chenghong lowered his head and looked at Tang Tian Tian, whose face was flushed and full of anger, trying to suppress his laughter. At this moment, a woman in her thirties and sixties, accompanied by two fourteen or fifteen-year-old girls, slowly approached from outside. Maid Lu Yuehuan, I have seen the master and the fourth miss. Servant Qin Ke, I have seen the master and the fourth young lady. Servant Qinghuan, I have seen the master and the fourth miss. The three of them knelt down and kowtowed to greet each other, and the fourth miss in their mouths was referring to Tang Tian Tian. Tang Qingmu, Tang Qinghong's eldest brother, has twin daughters, Tang Gongji and Tang Jiaojiao. The two sisters are eleven years old this year. And Shen Wanwan's daughter Tang Ziyao was the third, while Tang Tian Tian became the youngest child in the mansion, ranking fourth. Well, let's all get up. Hao Sheng is taking care of Miss Fourth, and you guys have arranged your time well. Miss Fourth must never leave anyone around. Yes, Master, rest assured. Tang Chenghong considered that Tang Tiantian's wet cotton pants were uncomfortable, so he simply tapped a few words and instructed Lu Yuehuan and the other three to pass hot water to help Tang Tian Tian clean her body. And he was not idle either. He personally took all the servants in the courtyard, except for two who had just beaten someone. The group went directly to Shen Wanwan's Wanxia courtyard to pick up Tang Tiantian's clothes. When the room was surrounded by the heat of charcoal fire, Tang Tian Tian, wrapped in a large zongzi, was stripped away by Lu Yuehuan. Oh my god, I'm so shy. Tang Tian Tian twisted her small body uncomfortably, her small eyes rolling around aimlessly, her gaze flowing back and forth between the three of them. Oh, my buttocks and feet don't seem to hurt that much anymore. Miss C, please stay still and let Mrs. Lu take care of you. Okay. Lu Yuehuan has a round face and a kind expression. As the best embroiderer among female workers in the mansion, her hands are exceptionally delicate, gently caressing the milk doll Tang Tian Tian, making her unconsciously relax. Qin Kei tried the water temperature with her hand, and Tang Tian Tian was gently placed into a small wooden basin. Oh my, taking a hot bath is really comfortable. Tang Tian Tian lay in the wooden basin, giving up her struggle and willingly letting Lu Yuehuan help wash her body. Chapter 9 The Unlucky and Weak Golden Finger You are listening at NovelFull.audio Ah, Miss Forth has a red mole the size of a grain of rice on her right foot. I heard that those who step on the mole have great luck. Lu Yuehuan said with a smile, while the Qin Kei and Qing Wan sisters behind her looked as usual. A red mold the size of a grain of rice. Is this the golden finger mark mentioned in the booklet given by the old swindler of the King of Yen? Upon hearing this, Tang Tian Tian vigorously lifted her right leg and excitedly tilted her neck, completely forgetting how indecent it was to take off naked at this moment. Miss C, do you want to see it with your own eyes? Lu Yuehuan quickly grabbed Tang Tian Tian, who almost slipped into the bathtub to drink bath water, and quickly picked her up to dry her body. Tang Tian Tian, who was carried to the bed and waiting to get dressed, was draped in a small blanket. She sat up straight and agile, with her right leg crossed over her left leg. She tilted her head slightly and saw the red mole on her right foot, 
which was the size of a grain of rice. Oh my God, is this my golden finger? Tang Tian Tian reached out her finger and pressed it hard on the red mole, causing a burning sensation to spread from her finger to her palm and rush straight towards her forehead. It's so hot. Just as Tang Tian Tian thought she would be burned, suddenly, the scene in front of her changed. Tang Tian Tian was placed in a small world filled with medicinal fragrance, with a space of about 100 square meters in all directions. The first thing that catches the eye is the neatly arranged rows of shelves, with rare pills placed in each transparent grid, each in a considerable quantity. Not bad Tang Tian Tian, who had been a doctor before, was very interested in it. She walked forward and found a row of bookshelves. On the yellow talisman paper, there were spells of dragon flying and phoenix dancing written in cinnabar. Tang Tian Tian was small and could only see the bottom layer, and even with her neck tilted up, she couldn't see exactly what it was. She is not very interested in this. Continuing to move inside, the shelf next to the wall was actually filled with seeds. I roughly scanned the bottom layer, which was for fruits and vegetables. The vacant position on the left is empty, with nothing. This golden finger doesn't seem to have a very sophisticated appearance. The king of hell is indeed a big scam. It's a bit precarious to expect these things to provide me with the protection of such a unlucky person. Tang Tian Tian shook her head slightly and left the space with a thought. At the same time, with a snap, a crow mouth skill manual fell from the top of the bookshelf and lay alone on the ground. Miss C, let's have some hot goat milk first. Tang Tian Tian, who had regained her composure, had already put on thick winter clothes. She obediently finished drinking sheep's milk under the care of Lu Yuehuan, and her face stared solemnly at the socked right ankle. The king of hell is really deceiving people. Which family's golden fingers are placed on the soles of their feet? It doesn't seem to be very powerful yet. Touching the code requires fingerprint recognition, use it once, touch it again. Tang Tian Tian tried to touch the red mole through her socks without any reaction. Oh, the unlucky golden fingers are so unique. No, this is a smelly golden finger. With outsiders present, Tang Tian Tian dared not attempt to take out the things in the space. Miss C, I'll take you out. The master is waiting outside. Tang Tian Tian was embraced by Lu Yu to the outer room separated by a wall, and Tang Chenghong reached out to pick him up. Lu Yu Huan wisely left with an empty bowl leaving space for the father and daughter. Sweetheart, my poor child, daddy can't hold you accountable. Without outsiders present, Tang Chenghong, who had been strong all morning, broke through the defense and cried loudly while holding his two-year-old daughter. Anyway, crying in front of a girl is not embarrassing, and the little girl at most feels disgusted in her heart. Stupid dad doesn't cry, you saved Tian Tian today. Tang Tian Tian once again realized that her behavior had become inexplicably childish when facing Tang Chenghong. If she couldn't control it, she should follow her true intentions. After hearing Tang Tian Tian's inner voice, Tang Chenghong's heart became even more bitter, and his crying and howling became louder. My poor sweetness, it's my dad who's useless. It's all because my father was careless and didn't realize my son's situation early on, causing you to suffer at a young age. Tang Chenghong blamed himself endlessly, feeling increasingly uncomfortable as he spoke. Influenced by his emotions, Tang Tiantian's nose slightly sour. It turns out that my father feels heartbroken like this. Tang Tian Tian didn't know that Tang Chenghong was a coward. Yesterday, he didn't have the courage to verify on the spot whether Shen Wan Wan had stolen someone, but in the dead of night, he arranged for someone with medical skills to examine Tang Tiantian's injuries. Qin Ke and Qing Wan's sisters were saved by Tang Chenghong six years ago in his hometown of Huicheng. Due to the fact that the elders in their family were skilled in medicine, Tang Chenghong did not bring them back to the mansion as maids after returning to the capital. Instead, he arranged for them to continue learning medicine in a medical clinic under the Tang family's name. Yesterday evening, before Yi Dai arrived, 
Tang Chenghong instructed Song Bai in advance to bring the two of them into the mansion. After Zishir, the sister Stunji Dai with smoke, carefully examined the pinhole wounds on Tang Tiantian's buttocks and feet and confirmed that they were all new wounds. Although Tang Chenghong did not have the courage to personally verify the revelation of Shen Wanwan's theft in Tang Tiantian's heart, he already had an answer to the truth in his heart. Tang Chenghong couldn't accept it for a moment, and Shen Wanwan didn't have his place in her heart. The years of mutual affection were just as one dot sided wishful thinking. Wan Yang. Tang Chenghong let out a mournful shout, and from the sound alone, he didn't know he thought Shen Wanwan was dead. Stupid dad, be strong. Who hasn't encountered one or two scumbags before when he was young? There is nothing that a bottle of Erguotu cannot solve, no, Erguotu is not good. Let's drink daughter's red instead. Tang Tian Tian, a unlucky person, once experienced emotional trauma in his life. He had his hard dot earned money scammed out and his small apartment shared by his employer was also taken away. Sleeping on the streets in a miserable and miserable state, without even a place to settle down. The only remaining 50 yuan on my body, I bought a bottle of low dot quality Erguotu and intended to drown my sorrows with alcohol. However, after taking two sips, I suffered from stomach bleeding and was taken to the hospital. At the same time, he was diagnosed with advanced gastric cancer and his life was not long. Fortunately, there was an intern nurse accompanying her through the last dark period of her life. It wasn't until Tang Tian Tian accidentally looked at the Huang Quan mirror in the underworld that she realized the hidden truth. The medical expenses were not paid by charitable organizations, they were shared by her good friends. The nutritious meal was not provided by a caring volunteer, but by her good friends taking turns preparing it and handing it over to the little nurse. While she was sleeping soundly, those lovely good friends appeared in the ward to accompany her. Doing everything silently in private, just to maintain Tang Tiantian's self-esteem in the final moments. So, although Tang Tian Tian has gone through many unfortunate things in every life, she still looks like an indestructible Xiaoqiang, the more frustrated and brave she is, believing that there is love to be found in the world. No, you can't drink alcohol. She doesn't like it. Tang Chenghong is busy discussing business outside, and apart from drinking in situations where he can't refuse, he usually doesn't drink at all. Just because of Shen Wan Wan's sentence, drinking alcohol harms my body, I want to spend a long time with Hong Lang until our heads turn white. Sweet, daddy's heart is bitter. The past is unbearable to look back on, and the more Tang Chenghong thinks about it, the sadder he becomes. Cry, man. Cry, it's not a sin, for this relationship that was a scam from the beginning, it's okay to cry a lot. When the water in your brain dries up, you'll wake up. My clumsy father has an outstanding appearance. He wants money, money, and good looks. He has an enviable pair of long legs, which he used to overcome the obstacle of Shen Wan Wan Tang Tian Tian raised her small hand and wiped away Tang Ching Hong's tears, gently patting his heart with care. Chapter 10 Pure Love Warrior Awakens You are listening at Novel Full.audio De Ko Loi Zara Trong Quatrin Lay Text